Hi everyone, so today I'll be going through um, the fashion jewelries that I own. So there's one from Hermes, one from Tiffany Co, as well as one from Chanel. So as what the title has suggested, I have two necklaces as well as one pair of earrings um, from these three luxury brands. And it's costume jewelry, it is not fine jewelry. that I have um, reviewed all three items to you guys I'll be going through each and every um, item very quickly so this is my latest purchase from Hermes so it's actually the mini pop hitch necklace in Morong glaze with rose gold hardware so you can see um, the side view it's actually like um, oval shape like some 3d pendant Okay, let me show you the back. So it's just a very um simple circle with uh claps. There's nothing fancy at the back. Put this back. So next I have a pair of Tiffany and Co earrings. As you can see, um there's a difference because I want to show you guys that this is actually um sterling silver. So what I did is I took um this polishing cloth that I use for my Pandora um, bracelet so I kind of polish it through and this is how you get the shine back so previously it looked like this and just roughly go through so all you have to do is just rub and you should get the shine back in a bit yep so you see it's shiny now but it definitely has this like kind of residue left behind from the cleaning yep so here you go this is my earrings from tiffany and co and lastly this is my chanel cc um necklace it comes with fake diamantes and this is um, the normal claps as well as you can see the chain is slightly different from that of a mess a mess um, chain is the links are so-called more prominent I'm not sure if you can see from the video yep so as you can see over here Chanel ones actually come with this dust small little dust bag as well Tiffany has this pouch or so, but for the Hermes, it doesn't come with, come with any um, storage pouches. So out of these three, I would say that I used um, my Tiffany and Co. Year stats the most previously because um, I felt like I wasn't really a necklace girl. I don't really wear um, all these uh, blings and stuff, but now that I'm slowly going back into... Um, work going back to office i felt like wearing a necklace would really so called elevate your look for the day you don't really need to um, wear anything fancy just a nice uh, simple necklace as such will really make your outfit look a lot better so now for the wear and tear uh, maybe i go through this first since i kind of went through the polishing just now so over here um i kind of own this for about eight years now so after I kind of um, polish it and shine, shine it, it looks okay, but I generally would recommend you to go for those proper um, deep cleaning for your sterling silver for it to really um, have the shine and to really get the cleaning done in the um, wordings. It says, please return to Tiffany & Co. New York 925. Yep. So for this one, um, I wore it quite frequently last time as well. But definitely you don't see this um, any loss in the shine in the bling. There's no um I had no issues of the fake diamonds dropping out as well. So it still looks pretty brand new, I would say. 
and for this one it's actually still very fresh i have yet to really wear this out um, to meet my friends to go to work or to go on dates so i'll definitely pop in more photos on my instagram once um, this gets to be used more often so do leave me a comment down below and let me know which one of these three is your favorite costume jewelry from my collection um, I'm definitely thinking of adding fine jewellery into my collection in future and I will definitely do unboxing as well as videos and reviews with you guys in future when I do get them. So stay tuned and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!